<laughs> I'd like to welcome everyone to this celebration. Uh, Frank and Catherine's marriage. We're here to, uh, you know, wish them the best and enjoy them. And, uh, what will certainly be a beautiful union. And, uh, I guess we're going to start things off with a poem called "The Art of Marriage." Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is be never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in each other, it is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and let go. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obliga obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Gift by the Sea by Ann Mora Lindbergh. When you love someone, you do not love them all the time in exactly the same way. From moment to moment, it is an impossibility. It is even a lie to pretend to. And yet this is exactly what most of us demand. We have so little faith in the ebb and flow of life, of love, and relationships. We leap at the flow of the tide and resist in terror its ebb. We are afraid it will never return. We insist on permanency, on duration, on continuity. And the only continuity possible in life is in love. We are, we're going to open and share this bouquet in recognition and in honor of the support and love that our families have given us through the years. Each flower is an acknowledgement of the gifts of both acceptance and letting go that you have given us. From Blossoms by Lee Yang Lee. From Blossoms comes this brown paper bag of peaches we bought from the boy at the bend in the road where we turn towards signs painted peaches. From Laden Boughs from hands, from sweet fellowship in the bins, comes nectar at the roadside, succulent peaches we devour, dusty skin and all, comes a familiar dust of summer, dust we eat. But to take what we love inside, to carry within us an orchard, to eat not only the skin, but the shade, not only the sugar, but the days, to hold the fruit in our hands, adore it, then bite into the round you there are days we live as if death were nowhere in the background. From joy to joy to joy, from wing to wing, from blossom to blossom, to impossible blossom, to sweet, impossible
Wishes bowl right over there, right on the edge, and there are some sharpies and some fancy pieces of paper. And uh, you can write your wish for Frank and Catherine and put it in that bowl, and they'll look at them, look at them later. Uh, so that's kind of a nice memento of today. And if you look on the middle here, you'll see there are three little pots of rosemary. Uh, Ann and I've been in Florida where the rosemary bushes are this big, and I thought I'd get a great big rosemary bush. But welcome to Pittsburgh. Uh, this is all they had. Rosemary. Uh, is an herb for remembrance. Uh, to have everybody will come up and kind of uh, push a little bit of it between your fingers. It's a wonderful, wonderful smell. Uh, but for remembrance, because I really want to say something in memory of those who, who cannot be here today, Frank's father and grandparents, uh, who, whom I did not have the honor of knowing, and Catherine's four grandparents, whom I did have the honor of knowing, uh, the good fortune of knowing very well, uh, and especially all those who came before them. It kind of struck me as I was thinking about this that this is such a kind of American, American event uh, in the sense of all those who came before, uh, all the European traditions that kind of come together. As our families are, are joined today, we have uh, Italy and Poland on one side, uh, and we have uh, France and Ireland and Germany and England on, on the other side. Uh, and the notion of how we're, we've all come together in this melting pot in America where anything is possible. America isn't perfect, but uh, Frank and Catherine are going to fix that. <laughs> uh, uh, but not, I was thinking about other places in the world, and nothing about class or about religion interferes with their, their joining here. And I think it's kind of wonderful to think about the happiness of today uh, and how it's such a great time for a great time for new beginnings. It's spring, April showers, spring May flowers, uh, and uh, we're just really happy, Ann and I, that you, you can all be here, and Kay, that you could be here with us with us today. Uh, and it's now my happy opportunity to invite anyone who would like to say anything else uh, to come up here or speak from where they are, but speak loudly. Anyone who would like to say anything, uh, please feel free to do so at this point. I think, I think uh, since the weather's threatening, we're going to move on to the next phase, which kind of takes uh, that theme. I met Catherine right over there, and she smiled at me for a second, and I knew I wanted to see her again. And so I, I kept looking for the little brown dog and the woman, and uh, we, I asked her out over there, and uh, this, is where, this is where we came together, and um, we're going to play a song together. Uh, but <laughs> maybe we should do it in the shelter. You know. to 
love you as you are. Every day in your growth is fully realized for me. To attend to my own well-being and growth in order to strongly attend to you. To be present in each unfolding moment. To stay with you through the most daunting challenges. To experience joy, passion, affection, laughter, play, work, accomplishment, and celebration. Appreciate all the beauty of life in the world with you and your partner. Oh, <laughs> 